my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. Dirty long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Welcome, <laughs> Sadr. So. You have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Sigurd the can stones he stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. That's in the morning. First light. Thank you, Eivor. 
Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. Ah. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. Oh, then speed I forth will bring. Ah. A noble deeds that honor sing. Ah. Ah. The brave men slain, Valkyria waves. Rewards for strain to our huddle takes, and horns resound the mighty horns. For those who fight, for those who fight. Ready yourself, men. Not you, Eva. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil.
different data streams overlapped in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. <clears throat> How long have you been chasing me, Wolfkist? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Ava Wolfkist is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver! <laughs> uh, to the ship! Uh. And I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? <laughs>
This place is heavily guarded. Do not happen while Ravenclaw lives. They fight like berserkers. Eivor Wolfkiss killed a score of more single hand. Flash of iron. There's fighting nearby. No! Uh. Ah! Thank oh. you, old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotwe tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Aval's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you! I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both Time of us. Time to die. I want to make a mess of it, Buckrout. and stick an axe in my hand. I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You, lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Or then, aren't you? I will send you to hell herself! Kneel, <laughs> wolf kiss, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it know! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Are you bewitched? 
Unbind us! What? Oh, yes, of course. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. Keep a sharp watch. for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying at bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Gjotve will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright, wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. If he attacked Jotvis fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull to dare sing that verse... It will be his last song. I'll be sailing here, Eivor! Hold What's here! What's the matter here? <gasps> we thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except just say the men who delayed us are dead. And well enough. How are you? Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king, he is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his race? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotr's warriors. 
And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home! Eivor! Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count! You need silver! And jewels! <laughs> Shut up, Rolf! How do you know? You never went on a raid! You shut up! Eivor! Come to keep your blade sharp? Wolfkist. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade. But it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck will have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? How are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all for now. Return any time. to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing I hearken. O ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I 